Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this. So what is this, you might ask? Well, I picked this up on eBay, actually, for about 10 bucks shipped. Um, kind of amazing. Uh, what it is, is it's a, a desk, uh, not a desk, a, a, a benchtop dust hood for a dust collection system. And the idea is, is you, on this side, connect a 4-inch hose to it and hook it into your dust system and, and it clamps to the table. There's actually a nice mounting bracket that, that has come with it. And uh, <clears throat> so anyways, I picked it up because what I'm going to do is mount it in the back here, sort of like that. Um, and because right here, uh, you know, is where I do most of my lighter sanding and stuff. And what I want to be able to do is have it suck the dust in there because I do have a woodworking shop out in the garage and this is where I sort of have my CNC and, and, and 3D printing and stuff. And I want to keep the dust down to a minimum. But there's always some dust and that kind of stuff. So, again, I thought this would be very interesting. So as I'm working here in this little area, it can be sucking the stuff in. The problem is, if you've seen in my other videos, is I use this inch and a half uh, tubing with these inch and a half couplers where, uh, long story short, it plugs in sort of like this and... I've shown this in other videos, <clears throat> and it goes into a high-velocity vac system with a cyclone separator. It actually works pretty good for, for being a smaller hose. You know, and again, I'm not, you know, having planers and things like that where I'm sucking up the dust. Um, so uh, it actually works very well. But the problem I have is I have this 4-inch opening, and I have this inch and a half, and I need to adapt this hose. So... I can connect this into the overhead system for the dust collection. So what I decided to do was head off to OpenSCAD and design something up in OpenSCAD <clears throat> that would adapt this. Now I want to do a couple of unique things. Is I didn't I don't want to use supports. I wanted to have it a clear structure. And what I want to do is I want to go from OD, I have an OD here to an ID here. So um, what's going to happen is I'm going to have a sleeve that's going to go on the outside of this, but yet on the inside of this. So um, OD to ID, outer diameter to inner diameter, and this will sit on here, and I don't want to use support. So um, went to OpenSCAD to do it. So let's hop over. We'll take a quick look in OpenSCAD at this. Then we'll hop over to the printer, take a look, and then we'll come back here. This is a very handy thing. I see this being used a lot. I've actually got a couple of these queued up uh, to be printed right now for different machines because one of the things I want to do is I create this 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 ID to slip over the OD of the machine's dust, dust ports and then use this to connect this tailstock to connect to a 1.5 inch um, uh, you know, uh, coupler, so that you've seen in probably some of my other videos. So, with all this being said, let's jump over. Let's watch a time lapse of this being printed because this is kind of really cool. Uh, it's a rather big object because uh, obviously it starts at about four inches diameter and closes down to one and a half. And in short, we we print it with no supports and we print it midair in this exact configuration. So uh, kind of cool to watch. And then after we do that, we'll actually kind of watch how it goes together uh, in the video. So let's jump over to the printer, time lapse, and then closing thoughts as we show how it all works. So we've seen the time lapse of this printing, and here's the, the final product. We printed this on the DaVinci and in TPU, and um, it came out pretty good. So 2 millimeter thickness, I think 20% infill, um, 
I think I used point, uh, point 0.8 millimeters of, uh, of shell, so it's, it's, it's mostly pretty solid. There's very little infill into this, actually. Uh, and it's nice and flexible because it's TPU, and this is one of the things I love about TPU. And because it's very sticky, it's um, very resilient. So let's take this over to the bench and, and try it out on the um, dust collector hood. Okay, so here we are back uh, at the dust collector hood. We've taken this off the printer. Um, very little cleanup required. There's a little bit of stringing, but nothing to. And so the idea is, is if this works, bingo. Slides right on there. This slides on there. Tube slides in there. And if I tip the camera up a little bit, you can kind of see how everything works. So this, this is the assembly process. Now what I do is I've got some five minute epoxy and what I'm going to do is I, I actually I'm going to I'm going to epoxy this piece on onto this sleeve and then what I'm going to do is this clamp goes on here and will tighten on here uh, because there's also uh, another clamping mechanism that goes on the bottom that actually mounts this to this table and, and I'll use that so uh, it came out really good, and so the the piece I like about it is because I did this in Open SCAD. I'm actually going to print a few more. It's kind of stuck on there because it really does really nice pressure fit. So I'm going to actually make one of these for my chop saw, and also in the background you can you can see the band saw. I've made an adapter for that in the past, and I'm going to remake it with this to attach. And so. Um, for various different projects, this is just has been uh, a real handy little uh, uh, piece. And as you saw in the uh, in the time lapse, it printed with no support. <laughs> That's the thing I always love about 3D printing. So um, you know, printed printed this up. It's about a 60 degree angle, so it, it worked pretty good. And that's the way I, I actually designed it. Also, if you want to know more about how I designed this in OpenSCAD, there'll be a link below. Uh, on my Open SCAD channel, I'll go into more detail about how I created this and that kind of stuff. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you need one of these, here's a handy way. Again, you can pick up the code on my Open SCAD site, link below. Hey, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more coming. You got any questions? Hit me up in the comments below. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.